All right. If you're watching this and you're probably interested in implementing segments or are interested in just learning more about the platform, how it works, what it does, or you're in the throes of trying to figure out you've maybe signed up for a contract and you're trying to implement this at your company. So I wanted to put together a little mini series on um, everything from high level, what segments all about, what it can be used for, you know, where the value comes from. And then I want to get into the granular details, the ins and outs of actually running through an implementation and some of the things to consider, some of the workarounds and really the power that you can get out of a successful implementation of segment. But for now, what I want to get into is really just kind of an overview, what segment does and, and how it's working. In my experience, segment is probably one of the most powerful customer data platforms that I've experienced. I've done some work with Telium. I've gone through the RFP process and I've seen a number of the platforms out there. And by far, I would say Segment is the easiest to use. You can get up and running very quickly and it is very easy to basically integrate anything. A lot of the challenge that many companies face is getting multiple systems to talk to each other getting their customer data from one platform to another so that they can action it, can do something about it, or can have some insights about what's going on with their customers. Segment is the solution to do that. The primary functions of it is what I would consider, I often call segment sort of the glue of customer data. It enables you to connect multiple sources to multiple destinations and really control the flow of data in between these platforms so that you can connect aggregate and collect all this data, consolidate it in one place, and then action it consistently across multiple platforms, whether that's an email platform, SMS, or it could just be data aggregation or some level of conversion reporting or AdWords, Facebook, things of that nature. So the power of this is really just the ease by which you can stitch all these things together. You can build profiles. And you can actually develop insights as a function of that and really get surgical about how you interact with your customers, how you communicate with them, and how you get them further down into the experience and engage with your product, your service, or whatever your platform may be or your offering. I, right now, I have basically the segment website pulled up. And I'm actually just going to leverage their site because I think it does a great job at illustrating what's available. And then down the road, I'll actually get into some of the ins and outs of a real configuration of how to map some of this thing, these things out. The first thing I would say is, you know, any successful implementation of a platform or a tool like this is really dictated by the team's ability to go deep, to learn the ins and outs, to figure out the, the nooks and crannies of the features, the capabilities and the workarounds that you may need to pursue in order to get things working to your sort of custom application, your, your specific proprietary customer experience. And that's where sort of the art comes in into these implementations. And it really does take a concerted effort. So let's just go through the site really quick and talk about, you know, what is Segment? What is it all about? They say they are the leading customer data platform. They're already throwing AI on their marketing site, which is great. Power your AI with, I actually don't know how that comes into play, but you know, maybe they're coming out with some new features. So I like this illustration a lot because this really is indicative of what it's doing. So the whole concept here is your customers are interacting with many different parts of your experience. And these experiences are often stored. The data is stored in different locations. And so for you to be able to see everything that's going on is, can be difficult without something like this. And so in this particular illustration here, you have basically like on the left side, mobile apps, you have a website maybe, and then you have probably some server side or some backend data or processing. Customers are getting issued or they're making purchases, or maybe you have a proprietary lifetime value or some sort of score as associated with this customer. All this data lives somewhere and it's not rolled up easily. And so what Segment enables you to do is connect all of these through generally an out-of-the-box API, or you have the ability to do sort of custom integrations through their universal API, and you can actually build custom source functions to handle a lot of these things. So this then enables you to pipe all these events across all these platforms one by one, set all that up, send it to a central hub which is going to build a customer profile. It's going to build an identity hash. It's going to aggregate all of these events 
time stamps with all of the metadata that you would want and need to find. And in the center of this, you have segment as the hub and then segments out of the box integrates with a ton of different endpoints. So in this example here, they have it showing connected to Google Analytics. There's intercom messaging. It could go to some warehouse. It could go to things like Google AdWords for advertising and con conversion reporting, or it could just simply update your, your sales and, and support CRM in this example, Salesforce. So, you know, visually here, you can see how powerful this can be to collect everything, aggregate it, and then distribute it to the destination platforms you want, depending on what actions you need to take or what insights you would like to have. As I scroll down some more, they talk a little bit about the customer profile. So this is one of the features here. And you get a really nice UI where you can start to see all the lineage of things that are going on for a customer. And the lineage is really important because it actually helps you make decisions and take actions about what's going on for that specific customer, what are they interacting with, maybe where they're having issues. And you can then build audiences off of this. And you can see, uh, let's see if it'll allow us to click on this. No. Oh, well, here you have real-time audiences. So this is just an example. And then they talk a little bit about the, all of the tools in which you'd be able to set, set as destinations. But coming back to this profile view, you can see that there's events, there's traits. So events are basically actions the customer took. Traits are going to be characteristics about that user. Again, I mentioned lifetime value. This is going to be things like their residence or geography. It could be things about the type of customer they are. Are they in a certain class or category in terms of subscriptions or enrollments, that kind of thing. In addition to that, you can also build audiences. And so the example that they show here is basically rules-driven audiences. Think of this as your conditional statements. If this, then that means X, Y, or Z to me. You can actually see how many people are in this audience. And then you can actually take these audiences and send those downstream which is really important for things like lookalike audiences when it comes to marketing. It's really important for driving email campaigns, SMS campaigns, things of that nature. Coming back here, you also see a section here on identities. This is really useful because it basically creates an identity graph for your customer. So they're going to be known by things like their name, their email, and typically a unique user ID that you define for your company as well as anonymous IDs that Segment will generate for that user as well. So all along the way, when a customer comes into your site, they're anonymous, they're tracking everything that's going on. They then log in. We know who they are. We know what their email is. We know what their, their customer UID. Segment will actually stitch all of those events together and build this centralized profile for that user so that you can see the full view of the journey. The last powerful aspect of this is the profile API. So the profile API is basically an endpoint that you can integrate into your systems, your platforms, you can integrate into your IVR so that you can actually interact with the profile data for each of these customers and retrieve that to make more informed decisions, whether it's routing the customer, whether it's informing a specialist how to speak to the customer in terms of where they're at in their journey, what they're having issues with, and just provide that information about the full picture of the customer front and center. I keep going down. We see more about what the possible downstream integrations they have. We see things about the actual APIs and, and they talk a little bit about custom functions. We'll get into this at a later time, but the nice thing here is in addition to the out of the box integrations that segment offers, there is the flexibility to build custom functions, whether it's as, as a source function or a destination function to take specific actions. This becomes incredibly powerful to really tailor this solution to your specific use cases. The last thing I would maybe touch on is the documentation is incredibly robust. So if we go in here, this is going to be the guide to any team that's trying to navigate how to implement this. Again, I can't stress enough how much time should be invested to go through these, understand the ins and outs of all of the capabilities, the nuances of how to implement specific things, whether it's track calls, identify calls, identity stitching, everything along the way. 
And specifically as it relates to different platforms, whether you're installing the analytics JavaScript onto the website or you're installing the mobile SDK for iOS and Android, it's really important to map all of these interactions out day one. So let me talk a little bit about that. In order to make any implementation successful, you really need to have a full picture on what the implementation is going to look like and what you're trying to solve for. Usually in my experience, that starts with mapping out the journeys, mapping out the key events that you care about, and then mapping out the outcome or the action that you want to take based on that. So I'm going to pull up a, a quick example here of, of what this looks like. I'm actually really zoomed in on this view right now. What I'll, I'll zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see segment here in the middle and then left and right, you essentially have a number of sources and destinations. But again, to break that illustration down this year, this is probably the first step that you would want to take in order to make a successful implementation of segment. At the hub of it, you basically have the, the core set of segment features. You have protocols, which are basically data contracts or quality control of the data coming in and eventually going out of second segment and ensuring proper integrity. You have the user profile, aka personas. This is the composed of the, the features I mentioned before, identities, traits, the lineage of events, other associated accounts, and then also audiences. And then the, on the other side of segment, you basically have data routing and filtering. So this enables you to have really tight control on what data you collect and also where you send that data and what destinations are receiving it. To the top of this, I have an illustration here of essentially the profile API. And this is again, like the endpoint, the hook in, so you can actually consume this data from other sources, whether it's a homegrown CRM or an out of the box CRM that you, you are using, you can actually pull this data into other locations. On the left-hand side of this, you see a number of sources. So for example, you might have your website analytics that's collecting data. You might have Braze or some other email service that, that is sending emails. There's open events, there's click events, there's bounce events that you could then send back into segments so that you can take some action. You have also the iOS and Android segment SDK. You may have other data warehouses, a Snowflake, Data Lake, or some other version of that. You might have Twilio where specialists are making calls and engaging with customers. Customers are maybe navigating through some sort of an IVR. You can collect all that data, send it into segment, aggregate everything, and then send it downstream to various destinations, depending on what, again, what are you solving for? I would say the big pieces that I've seen really valuable are around communication tools. So again, like a Braze or like a, a Mailgun or a SendGrid or anything like that, where based on what a customer's done, you want to create some sort of audience and then interact with them in some way as it relates to that experience. The second piece I would say is conversion platforms. So think of things like Facebook, Google ads, what marketing efforts led to a conversion and how do you report that back to Google ads or Facebook mm -hmm. to close out the loop on what marketing led to that conversion that you care about. And then finally, you can dump all of this into a data warehouse. You can use this for analytics purposes, a ton of different use cases that can be really impactful here. So I'll conclude on this. Segment is incredibly powerful. It is very easy to integrate to the out of the box uh, APIs that are available as a part of the platform. The key to success here is really mapping out the journeys, the experiences that you care about, mapping out what those events are across what platforms. Once you put all those pieces together, the devil is really in the details and just going through each of those steps, mapping everything out, documenting everything, and then getting it built in segment and testing. Once you get that in a good spot, you will have a well-running segment implementation and you can continue to iterate, build, grow, and really enhance your customer experiences as a result of that.